Hi, how's everybody doing today? This is Sean, and I'm here with the opening. We're gonna do. I got this a while back, and since everybody uh, was having major problems trying to get cards at the Walmart stores, and some of the people that I made a video um, a few like a, two videos ago about what's going on breakers and stuff, and um, some of the people that actually break you know do breaks legitimately they actually go and buy cases from the actual factory and um have them delivered i'm not uh trying to refer to them i'm actually talking about there are actually people that are not doing that and they're actually going around to the stores and doing breaks and there's a lot more of them than there are the people that are getting it legitimately so unfortunately that's the way it is so um and I do appreciate everybody's feedback. So anyway, hey, let's get into this. This is a celebration of dec decades. Okay, so there's nice. There are some pretty decent chances you can get a, a good autograph or something. And there are relics and stuff. And there are autos in here uh, of various players. So maybe we can get some something cool. And then, and anyway, you guys can and ladies can take a look and see what you think about this uh this product. And if you're interested, you know, maybe you're interested in getting it or not. And you save your money if you can find it. You're not gonna find nothing on the shelves, like I was saying. So it's sad. So um, that's why I'm opening some of these things up for you. So if you decide to buy something off the internet, you know, like at least you'll know what they look like. You know, it's that. And it's looking for exclusive uh, Empire State of War wearing cards. There's like some badass autographs. I just looked into it a little while ago. So this is your special, uh, ex you know, exclusive tops card medallion card inside it but it could be auto we don't know and uh you get seven packs one two three four five six seven and that so we're just gonna go right into this and i want to oh wait a minute um if you do get an auto you can use this to put them in there and i'll show you if we get auto i did on my last video when i got the mike trout prism i used one of these i showed you how to use it and then also use card sleeves, penny sleeves, and then there are different kinds. You have to watch when you buy them, see how it says thick, top for thicker card holders, and they almost look identical. But you have to read what you're buying, so we got those. And then these are top loaders, and that's what you will put your, for people that don't know, it's just starting off, that's what you'll put your high-end, nicer cards in. And then obviously autos are something you're doing in here. So anyway, that being said, let's do this. Whew. My goodness. Pretty cool. Something cool. We got a pirate. Nice. Still playing pretty good right now. Corners look pretty decent on it. Everything, that's what the back one looks like. He's not having a, that good of a season. I've been watching some of his games. And, uh, like, yeah, last night he gave up five runs. And then he came back and won the game. It was a pretty amazing game. These are sideway cards. A lot of people like these cards. There are variations, like I said. There's seven packs, so I'll go through this kind of. And then the rookies. I'll look in the back of them because sometimes that's prospects. But if it doesn't say rookie on it, I'm just going to put them in the pile right here. I'm not sure if I'll make a set of these because it's just going to be so hard to get a set of these to do these because uh, things you just can't buy them. You know what I mean? This dude's a beast. Yeah, he's good. Tampa Bay is going to be tough, tough to deal with. And then we got a tricky card, which is cool. Nice. And then our tricky card is Mr. Rollis. Tori Robles, he's badass. I got a nice R of him. I'll put that in the penny sleeve in a second. Nice. I'll look through these because some of these are variations. There's a judge right there. Like, you know, there are some variations in here. I like judge, so I'll put that right here. So far we got some pretty decent ones. I'm gonna go ahead and put penny sleeves on this part here. One of my people that collect, and it's turkey card. These are called turkey cards. They're the turkey ones. They're nice. Not too bad so far. 
two kind of inserts. This one's definitely an insert. Gives you an idea what the cards look like. And then some autos. Snow. Austin. Oh, he's back up in the majors again. Nice. Her. Hat. And as I said, there are variations in here. You just have to look them up on eBay. You would just put in Tops 2020, 2020 Tops Baseball Series 2 and put uh, SP or uh, variations in there. Just put SPs in there too, it'll tell you. This guy's playing pretty well. Top point, in my opinion, I just don't, I think they don't have any variations, anything, unless they're, you know, chrome cars. They're just, uh, they're just very boring to me. They look like the same. If I'm going to get the vintage ones, I'll definitely get the ones with, uh, you know, the real ones from the 50s and 60s. You know what I mean? It's pretty cool, though. Ramirez, he's a good player. Pretty cool, I like this. But yeah, personally, I and mean, we've got two inserts which I'm gonna put faces on. These are just stamp cards, just silver stamp. Um, 35 year year anniversary cards. It's supposed to be 1984, um, 84, 85 tops. That sort has got uh, Tony Gwynn and, and um. And a few players like that with rookie cards in there. There's a few guys in that series, I forget all of them, but there are some really good Hall of Fame players in that uh, 84 one. Kirby Puckett, and uh, Kirby Puckett is one of them also. And there's a Ricky Henderson uh, card in there that's worth some money also. That's a nice, this is a really nice uh, rookie card. Nice. Detroit. So we're not looking too bad. Got a couple inserts so far, two and in, three inserts, and uh, you yeah, know, one rookie insert, so that's not bad. But uh, a lot of the times, I don't, I'm just, uh, I'm just doing this thing. Like I said, I wanted to make a video in case people want to see what they look like before they start dropping money on these uh, cards. So that's why I open this box. I usually just don't even bother opening them. I just hold them, you know, sometimes and then wait a few years and then open them up. But I figure since the things, the way, with what's going on in the stores and stuff right now, it's really going to be tough for people to get cards. So they're going to be going on eBay and, um, you know, oh, here's a nice Bob Bichette card right here. I'm sure that's a variation card. Toronto Blue Jays. Team card. You got Bob Bichette in there. And uh, who's that other fella? Vigio and Reese. Nice. Nice. Not bad at all. We got a rookie card here, too. Finally got a first rookie so far. That's nice. Not bad. Got two rookie cards actually. Doesn't say rookie on there, but it's a team card. So we got not bad. Not bad so far. Excited to get an autograph on these. I got one autograph one time out of the the Heritage. Uh, I got a Lou Brock one, which is really cool. So yeah, when you do get autos out of these things, you do get good ones. If you do get some pretty decent ones and Johnny oh, this is nice here's a throwback 84 I was just talking about 85 80 45 there's a throwback one of Johnny Bench that's what they look like the green ones but they're much these are much brighter than the new ones and they're centered better uh, the old ones weren't centered that well at all that's what makes them so expensive and that's why people are going after them because if you find ones that were centered really well and you get a good grade on them here, you'll get good money off of them. 
Nick Solis. That's a nice rookie card. I got a nice auto of that fella too. He's great dude. He's a good player, this kid. I'll put that in a paint sleeve. Mr. Albert Pujols. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And uh, Chad Long. Nice. Put this in a paint sleeve. Yeah, you wanna, these are tricky cards, so apparently you get, maybe I think you get one every pack so far. <laughs> yeah, three of them. Looks like you get an insert in the pack as well, too. Oh, autos, please and thank you. There's Dayton, Stanton, there you go. Pretty cool. Sideways card. Yeah, sometimes it'll say on the back too something. Oh, we got a, a nice cup card. Those are nice. Uh, people like to collect those. So like I said, uh, the actual <clears throat> the actual cards have not changed over the years. It's the same thing, the same kind of style, the same kind of pattern. It's just maybe a newer color, they're a little brighter or whatever, but their tops is very unoriginal in my opinion. This is my opinion. That's pretty cool. It's a nice card. Yeah, because I can bring out the, what I'll do is one day is I'll take out my old 60s and 70s cards of tops and I'll show you what I'm talking about. How they're almost similar. Oh, there's a chrome, nice, nice Chris Sale of all people. Jeez. He just didn't play this year. We, if they had this guy and the the team that they have, the Dodgers. Oh, dude, the Dodgers are gonna be tough to beat. Believe me, they're gonna be tough. I think it's gonna be a Tampa Bay Dodgers uh, World Series. It, it, the way it's looking, Pete Alonzo. What's this about? No, Nick. No take sign here. <laughs> Pete, forty eighth. Let's play. Oh, there's a nice Peter Alonzo insert card. Fire State Awards, no take sign here. Yeah, there's no signature on it. I don't know if they're supposed to be. I don't think so. It's just a regular insert. That's pretty cool. That's going to get a penny sleeve. And we got another rookie card. Sorry about that. I thought that might have been an auto. I got kind of excited there for a minute. <laughs> I was like, look. This is the first time I've opened these ones up this year. That's a very my man. So in the news, another turkey rookie, nice. Then we have the base set cards again. Base set cards. Nice. Just put that in paint sleeve. And then you want a lot of these, I just, uh, <clears throat> I have a binder or I'll put some of them in top loaders if you're gonna send them out to get graded. Because <laughs> that's what the new thing is now. Everybody wants to have everything graded, so it's kind of good. It's kind of ruining the hobby, really. But the only reason why the, you know grading started to begin with is because of of um, fake cards. You know, people had to send stuff in to make sure it was real. And then, of course, well, you got that kind of money, you're gonna have corruption. I don't care what organizations you're on. And uh, you know, now it's just uh, it's turned into a cult. Of people just trying to get money off the stock market by selling you cards that they know are, are just uh, you know could be trimmed or or even uh, altered or whatever you know what I mean that's nice I like that one that's kind of cool pirates that's the pirates I mean, that's my team what the hell nice 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 Bad. I just, it's just so bad that they are so bad. <laughs> Elroy, there's my man. South, south side swag. Nice. That's another paint sleeve. It's a good player. Up the Cumber Stars. It's a nice one. Luis Herreras. That's a good player. That's going to get a paint sleeve. That's a nice one. Oh, I got a top. Oh, nice. Are you serious? 
Hang on. Let's see this one. That's a that's a Topps Chrome turkey card, and that is of Jake Flaherty. Nice. That's gonna get eggs leave. You see the difference between them in a second. I'll show you. In case you didn't notice. Same card. Sorry. The same card, but see the refractor. See that's. A, a little more valuable that way. Here's another Pete Alonzo card. Maybe the top loader up Tennessee on that one too. And then Will Clark. Nice. Nice Will Clark card. That's gonna get things right away. So I got a, we got a lot of turkey cards in here. It gives you a little var variation. Base cards. Like I said, you got to go through these things. If you're going to try to find all the variations, you go on eBay and uh, look them up that way. So we got two more packs, and then that. I'll wait to put some other stuff in the case, please. Because uh, I'm not trying to make a really long video where people have to watch it that long. I mean, it's basically, we're looking for autos and uh, some, you know, PC players for me. Like, there's Ozzy, I collect him. So that was cool timing right there. Snow. Rays, that's nice. Colorado. You got team cards are nice, they're kind of cool. And then you have salary cards, another base card. And like I said, you gotta get through some of these cards. On the back, it'll say major and minor. Don't say rookie on there. Phil Cohen. And we got an upside down card of Gary Stanton. I don't know what that could be. Wonder why that's up. That's gotta be a variation, maybe. This was upside down. Three sixty-seven. Yeah, this is probably a variation card. That's why it was upside down. Maybe that's how I let you know about that. Anyway, I put it in a penny sleeve. And then these are some inserts we have. That's really nice. That's kind of cool. He's a good player. And like I said, I collect him. So that's two players I collect. And then we get another rookie, which is cool. He's a good player too. So that's going to get a penny sleeve. So that last pack was pretty good so far. Man, so one more pack. This corner is pinged up on it already. I can see it. That's the way the pack was. So that's another thing to watch. See, these are how that. That's how that came out of the pack. That's why I was worried about putting it in a paint sleeve. See that? See the corner? Nothing you do about that, my friends. That's how they cut them too. See. Do that little piece there. Anyway. The last pack and then we get our team the medallion. Come on, auto. Trey Mancini. Corey Seeger. All right. Nice. That's my first PC. This man's a pretty good ball, ball player. Nice. Sean Newcomb, I got a really nice auto of that fella from, in Platinum building. He's a good player. Matt Beattie. Major and minor, see what I mean? It's a high card too, 564. So that's going to go to Corey Seager. So like I said, I'll go through this later. It would be just a really long video, even longer than it is now, if I was to look on the back of every card to make sure that they're not rookie cards, but... Like I said, this isn't something that I really collect. I just wanted to open this up to give you guys and ladies the, an idea of to what you're looking at. And if you have to buy them off the internet, you know. Um, wow, nice. Jim Leland. The worst coaching decision I ever seen him make was he's when he brought Bob Walk in and, and, and instead of Tim Wakefield. 
that was the one of the worst uh, coaching decisions I've ever seen to make. Uh, it cost us a chance to go to the World Series. Bob Walk was horrible, and when I listened to him on the radio, or when I oh I got not a lot of this dude's stuff. I <laughs> got autos and number cards of this fella. That's funny. Yeah, when I listened to him on the radio, he sounds like he was such a great, awesome, the best player ever, and he sucked. Uh, you know, he was pretty bad. Uh, he was, you know, gave up. A, uh, he, uh, Doug Brayback, he, you know, had one nothing league going on until until that ass came in and blew it. You know? Anyway, this is our last one. Oh, Mikey Trout. Is there a Mikey Trout? There was no Mike Trout in them. That's another thing, too. There'll be a Mike Trout here. His Albert Pools is his boy. He's hanging around somewhere. There's Albert Pools. Mikey Trout. Maybe. Congratulations. You have Matt Trapman. Matt Chapman. Nice. Nice. See, you you can't really get these things graded. That's how they come out of the pack. You see, like... And look how thick they are. So... These real these really are cool and everything, and people put sets of these together. But to get them in perfect condition, you know the way the boxes are and how they handle them. You know, don't be deterred if you see that. That's a normal. That's pretty normal sometimes. Sometimes they come out immaculately, and this is actually the way it's cut. Some you know, see the corner on it, and they're thick. I mean, like you can see, it's a cool card though, and that goes to go with our thick sleeves right here. Because it don't never fit in a regular penny sleeve. It's not wide enough. I like this guy. I like, seriously, I like Oakland. It's, they're not, I watch every team. I like watching the Pirates, but there's only so much you can watch a team lose. Uh, I don't know, you know, just what happened to that winning spirit is gone uh, in poor ownership. That 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 those those players get uh, are probably the lowest paid players in the history in, in Major League Baseball. Some of them get paid so badly they're on food stamps. Uh, pirate players are not doing good when it comes to salary, and that guy will get rid of them and they'll build a team around you know trying to build a little chase team. It is ain't about it. So if you're a Pirates fan, the best you can do is that you know you might be able to make the playoffs, <laughs> but. And then next year, he'll get rid of all the people that made the playoffs. It was like Major League, uh, the movie Major League, where he, they try to tank the season so they can leave. You know, it seems like that's what they're doing in Pittsburgh. Like, well, if we lose enough games, we can get the hell out of here. You know, anyway, I appreciate you guys watching this video. And uh, just let me know what you think. Just like I said, there's some cool inserts and stuff. And there are autos in there. But, you know, they're very difficult to get autos out of those boxes. Um, if you do get auto, you're very lucky, very lucky, because I know people that open boxes and boxes of those cards, and they still can't get the autos in there, you know, it's just, uh, they don't put a lot of 